Welcome to Ceresa and the Lost Demon. Again, thanks you guys for being here. Um, gonna ask again, like, comment, subscribe, all those things, but we're just gonna get going. We've got this weird little thing in front of us that we're gonna go into, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, Cheshire, you're, you're being a little restless. There we go. Once their eyes had adjusted to the brilliant light, what lay before them was a sight unlike anything either had seen before. I have a feeling we're not in Avalon anymore. Tear na nog? Maybe. I have no idea if I said that right. Apologize if I didn't. By the way, apparently I forgot to hit record on my voice when I first started this, so welcome in. Welcome in. Hopefully. I didn't just scare you with jumping right in the episode, so um, we went through the portal and now we're here. And uh, Tiranog are the source of fairy illusions. They can be found spread throughout the forest. Find and destroy the core at the heart of the Tiranog. Press plus to open the menu if you need. Temporary retreat. Okay. In other words, like pause, you can hit plus. That makes sense to me. All right, so let's head forward. Looks like we got a save, which I'm gonna do quick. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we saved. Let's see what else we can do in here. Okay, so it looks to me like a typical solve something to make the force field go away. Can't go through there. Cheshire, can you? When in doubt, Cheshire can bash through. Okay. Back. So there's one way, but if video games have taught you anything, it means look both ways before you cross the street. And now we just did, so we're gonna keep going. Is this fairy treasure? Oh, they'd be hopping mad if I stole it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> of course, we're gonna steal it. Okay. Counter. Besides decimating enemies with cl claws and fangs, Cheshire can counter their attacks as well. Press R with the right timing to have Cheshire counter incoming attacks. Enemies with counter will temporarily be stunned. Enemies with counter will temporarily be stunned. Be warned, some attacks cannot be countered. Okay. Ooh, that was cool. Oh gosh. Crescent Cluster. A powerful, a power imbued crystal in the shape of a crescent moon, typically only found in Inferno. It can restore some of the user's magic energy. Okay. Uh. Sorry, I'm trying to get my hands wrapped around this. Okay, sorry, not alone. That 
that was cool. Oop. Hit the button. There we go. Okay, so being honest, I'm not sure I'm ever going to get used to moving these two characters. It hurts my brain. Okay. It really does, like, <laughs> especially during that combat, I'm like, wait, which one am I doing? It was almost as bad as the Bayonetta 3, where Bayonetta's dancing, but not quite. All right, so, oh, I understand what's going on. Pressure goes there. Teresa goes there. Actually, no, we're going to do it the other way. Because there's a chest, I'm going to grab the chest. Test first, and then we'll grab the opening thing, cause you know, just in case. Yes. <laughs> I have to say, at least with this controller, I'm not understanding why there's a not a, a lot more of the buttons being used. Like, it's just the- so far I feel like it's just the trigger buttons, and I feel like I would do a lot better if some of these commands, like opening things, was on, like, the A button, but that's me. And that recall, it just doesn't make sense sometimes, like, when and where it works. Oh, wait. Can I go back? Now that I'm remembering that. I only got one side of these. Ha ha ha, you can go back. Okay, cool. Oh, duh. That's how they want you to- I didn't put two and two together. You're two people. So they want you to do this. Okay. Hang on. My brain hurts. <laughs> cool. Ooh. Vitality Petal. A small jewel-shaped petal formed in the very life essence of the forest. Collecting several is said to increase your vitality. Nice. It's a heart piece. <laughs> okay. They want you to do this. They want you to take the rolls. Come here. the boy from my dream. 
center of the forest, waiting. Help me, how? Okay, uh, I just need to follow the white wolf, right? Destroy all elemental cores. You can do it. Follow White Wolf. Chapter 3, The First Elemental Core They had returned from the strange world. The forest was just as they had left it, except not quite. It seemed that destroying the device at the core of that rift somehow disrupted the illusion, revealing the true path forward. Tyrannog complete. Work together. Working together, the two vanquished the Tyrannog and Jade Hill. Yet there still seems. Yet it's. Yet it still seems there are other Tyrannog in this region. Oh my good grief. Okay, so according to that, it looks like we have to go forward. But there's other things on the map. Interesting. They spotted the white wolf. Without a moment's hesitation, the pair gave chase. I mean, there might have been a little hesitation. By the way, let's put uh, let's put a uh, comments below. Destroying the four elementals. Good. Bad. Indifferent. I'm going with bad, but we'll see. We'll see. A small glade of otherworldly beauty opened before Ceresa. This dark forest held secrets yet. Ceresa relaxed ever so slightly. I did not expect that. <laughs> but when I saw they both led to the same place, I was like, well, let's stop. Let's go back. What's this? The jump. Is this the way forward? Where are we? Can't quite tell. Let's let's do that again. Wait. Yeah. I'm remembering. Okay. Let's look at the map again. Oh. It's right by the home button. Okay, that looks like a dead end. So let's summon and crush stuff. Ah. Umbrin syrup, an umbrin potion cased in a butterfly bottle, grants temporary invincibility and increased speed of umbrin arts. Nice. Nice. There we go. Huh. 
Journal. Someone has left journal entries scattered through the forest. Pick up any you find with L to read them from the archive. Alright, I'm not sure how one gets that, but let's move on. Oh, wait. Let's check, sorry. Mm hmm? Yeah, your taste is fantastic. I should be able to relax here. Alright. Alright, we're gonna throw in a save quick. We need a rest. So how do I get that? Is it a throw? Okay. Let's see what happens. Umbran Apprentice Diary 1. You are forbidden to enter that forest. Yeah, I know. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Besides, I'm already inside anyway, so no turning back now. So I'm gonna do what I came for. I suppose I may have been... I may have rushed into things just a little bit. I probably should have brought some more food and some more, a few essentials, but I can't start getting down on myself already. I'm a, I'm from a long line of powerful witches. I'll be okay. I need to have more confidence in myself. First thing I realized as I started exploring the forest is the importance of a place to set up base and recuperate. You never know what will be waiting for you around the corner, so why don't you stay well rested and alert. Fortunately, there's plenty of wood around to build with. Even in this weird me red metal, too. If I put a little bit of time into it, I'm sure I can make simple camping spot to hold me over for a while. Oh, I should probably find a cauldron for some concocting, too. Oh. Alright, so that's the way of the wolf. Of course we go the other way. So then, is this just another... Oh, whoa. I swear I zoomed in. Hang on. I hit the wrong button. Um, that's interesting. What is, what is this? That was weird. Huh. Try this again. Okay, come on. Okay, got it. I swear I had it the first time, didn't I? Did I just weirdly miss things? Yes. Demonic mist, umbra and perfume, and a crescent moon bottle. Use a temper to give Cheshire unlimited magic and perform skills. Okay. What skills? <laughs> Cheshire, what skills can you perform? Oh, okay. So this looks like another one of those. Oh. It looks like we can go up. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. That looks wrong. Okay, so we can't go that way. Cheshire doesn't like this. I'll win in right away. That's cool. 
So is this just right to one of those things? Let's try it. Prison of Thorns. Bind and defeat all enemies. Enemies can only be damaged while bound. Use Thorn Bind to defeat them all. Oh, great. Come on, recover. No, no, no. Oh no, oh no. Oh! Aww. No, no, no. This is a problem. Okay, what the heck? No! I know. Sorry. Okay. Ow. Okay. Chester's that one. Bayonetta's this one. Cheshire, over here. Okay. Let's try this. Hang on. messes with my head.
Ominous fog has been listed at points of interest that are now marked. Okay, cool. I don't know. So this is a game where you're going to go through these areas several times. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm probably not. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm just being honest with you guys. You know, if you're just like, oh, you need to go do this. Tell me. Tell me in the comments. I will absolutely probably do that. Oops. Come on. Touch that one. Touch grass. Come on. And we did that one already. Ooh, nice. So this is the way through. And guys, you know what? Some things happened in the recording. I'm not certain how long this episode's gonna be, so we're gonna call it here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Hopefully you're finding this little... Thanks, bunny. Uh, hopefully you're finding this just a little bit of fun, low key, low stress, and a little bit relaxing. So anyway, thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe.